All right, welcome back. I got another question in geometry, and it's asking for the perimeter of this big triangle ABC. Um, if we knew, so we know that this little part's 11, um, we don't know this part, we know this part's five, we don't know this part, this part, or, or this part. So obviously if we knew all the sides of the triangle, we just add them all up to get the perimeter. But um, there's a certain thing in geometry that will always hold true, and that's gonna help us solve the equation. So look at this point, point P and point Q. There's point P and point Q. There's something called a tangent line. And a tangent line hits a circle only at one point. It's like if this was Earth and this is a spaceship and it just nicked the surface of Earth. Well, if I had another tangent line and both of those tangent lines meet right here, there's a rule, a theorem in geometry that says two tangent lines that meet at the same point have the same length. So here, if this is 11, and this also has to be 11. So we'll take that into account for this, uh, this shape. So if this part's 11, then this part has to be 11. Same here, if this, this is the same idea, two tangent lines. And the reason they show you P, Q, and R is because they're, point, they're points that it just nicks the surface, it's a tangent line. Um, it's just to help you realize that you're supposed to use that theorem. So if this is five, then this also has to be five. Now the tricky part is what's this? Well, if this whole thing is 23, and this is 11, then this has to be 12. I hope I'm doing the math right there. I think, yep, 23. So if the whole, this is 12 plus 11 makes 23. We knew this is 11, so this is 11. So this has to be 12. And because these are both tangent lines, again, this is 12. So doing a little math here, we're just gonna add everything up. 12 plus 12 plus five plus five plus 11 plus 11. Perimeter of triangle ABC is equal to 56. All right, hope it helps.